So in this video, we made a USB key, a bootable USB. We downloaded the Windows Server 2019 um, and we made a bootable USB with it. We used the tool Rufus. So hopefully you can look at the video which shows you how to download Rufus and we created a bootable USB. So let's go and insert the bootable USB and I'm going to power on the server. So here goes. And this is a Lenovo server. So when I see the Lenovo logo, I'm gonna hit the enter button. And then I see the uh, temporary, I hit F12 to select temporary boot options. And my USB is this UEFI uh, partition on the USB and I'm going to press enter and there we go we start to go through the install screens so right now it's loading Windows files for the setup And here we go. I'm going to take a uh, language English United States time and currency. I'm going to select Canada because that's sorry, not French, but English Canada. There we go, English Canada, and my keyboard is a US type of keyboard. And I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to select install. So what we're doing here is we are installing Windows Server 2019. And we have here uh, a few options when installing. So we are installing an evaluation version of Windows Server 2019. So I'm going to select the uh, desktop experience. Uh, so Windows Server 29 standard desktop experience, right? So that's going to give me all the menus and options that I want to work with. And I'm going to hit next. And we keep installing. We get the uh, the license notice, and we accept the terms, and we go next. So in this case, I'm doing uh, install. I have the option to upgrade or to do a custom install. So I'm going to take the custom install, and I'm going to install on my main hard drive um, the 475 gig drive as you can see I'm gonna select that drive so that's where I'm gonna in install my Windows server files I go next so if there are previous installs it'll get uh, uh, moved to an older to a folder called Windows old that's fine and here we go So going through the install. So this is going to take, I think, about 20 minutes end to end. 
let's follow along. And it's great if you can follow along uh, with your own install. So we're gonna uh, create window uh, a Windows 2019 server. So this server is going to be our host server, and we're gonna use uh, we're gonna load virtual servers on this server. So that would be our uh, ultimate aim to have multiple servers running on this whole server. be up to 24 percent giving you a, giving you a running commentary on the install so hopefully your install is also um, going together with mine so uh, ideally this uh, video is for someone who's trying to test or evaluate uh, Microsoft virtualization which is the Hyper-V, uh, Hyper-V is Microsoft's virtualization implementation. It's a little different from others like VMware and I know there are others, uh, almost all the vendors offer some kind of virtualization, but I'll go into the strategies that Microsoft uses. So it's more than uh, one strategy when it comes to uh, virtualization. Um, so we will go through uh, in multiple videos so thank you if you subscribe uh, uh, keep in touch and go through the other videos and do comment if you are starting off or if you are a student and if this helped you uh, with your own uh, virtualization labs and so on so let's keep going with the install Uh, once I'm once I'm doing the edit of this video, I'll speed it up. So there's a lot of uh, time spent waiting for the install. So almost uh, <clears throat> eight minutes has elapsed since we started recording, started the install. Uh, also, uh, just to note that with the uh, different vendors, the the key combination to boot from USB is a little different. With this Think Center that I'm running, um, you press Enter when you see the uh, Lenovo logo. Uh, I pressed Enter a couple of times, then I got the uh, the menu for temporary boot. Um, and then I selected from uh, the options there F12 and then uh, I selected the uh, the USB that I wanted to boot from and that's that got me to this screen to the setup. So we up to 77%. And counting. So getting close to the file install, file installation.
at this point windows has copied all the files and i guess it's expanding the files for installation So hopefully you're following along and your install is going at the same pace. Nice. So we have uh, we're now installing features. And since I have an internet connection wired, As you can see, the white cable is the internet. So the uh, install can grab uh, updates. So Windows needs a restart. Nice, so we are restarting now. So because I had a previous version of Windows, it showed two versions. So that's fine. And here we go. It's now booting up to the new Windows install. It's getting ready with the devices, drivers and so on. So let's keep going with the install. So we are up to now the, um, so this is the phase, the stage where we have to uh, create our password, the administrator password. This is part of the uh, install steps. So there are some rules for the password. So I'm gonna keep it, uh, make it like eight characters, a mix of numbers and special characters. So uh, you get to, uh, create your password and you hit finish so finalizing and we have our login screen Wait for the login screen. I'm going to press Control Alt Delete. There we go. So here's our uh, login screen with the default administrator account that we just created a password for. So hopefully you remember the password that you set. And so here's the first uh, time login. So it's gonna install the server manager. And there we go. Um, so we have our basic server set up. And uh, this is the server manager dashboard. Uh, hopefully uh, your install is also at this stage and you're good to go. So I'm gonna stop the video here and um, we will continue with another video on how to install the, the uh, virtualization features. It's a, a server feature and a role. So uh, in the next video, we'll see uh, how we turn that on. So thank you for watching and if you subscribed or shared with your friends, thank you for doing that. Thank you for helping uh, the channel grow. See you in the next video.